Greg Thomas said, I feel like I just watched a commercial for add-ons, not got info on selling my quest. What a waste of my time. More on that later. Hello, bonjour, comment ça va? And welcome to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of VR. So if it's your first time here and know that it might be, it probably is, you'll get to find tons of really cool, insightful videos on the channel. So do feel free to go and browse them as I provide lots of information from tutorials to interviews to a whole bunch of different things. But moving on with today's video, well, basically Oculus Quest have provided us the ability to download a really cool, new, futuristic kind of environment. So let me show you how to download it and install it into your Quest. Delete previous video. All right, so let's go into VR. All right, put my earbuds on, my Spectra Shout earbuds, which I love. Okay, so once, um, once we are in VR, so what all you have to do is to change your environment, uh, which mine is the one of the classic lodges at the moment. Basically, you go to settings, then you go to see all, look for virtual environment if you're not familiar with this, and then Quest Dome is my active one. You can also choose pass through, which is you can see outside of the actual VR headset, which is pretty awesome. Or you can also see classic home, which is asking me to update. And you can also go to Winter Lodge, which is my personal favorite. I'll just quickly show you if you don't have a news quick, you know, Winter Lodge before. I really, really like Winter Lodge, only because I live in Singapore and it's so hot here every single day. And of course, a new one is Cyber City. Now, all you have to do to activate it is, for example, here it says update. So you just click on it and then it, for you, it'll say download if you haven't used it yet. And it just takes a few seconds, as you can tell from here. Uh, it's installing, it's very fast. Of course, it depends on your internet connection. So let's just imagine we clicked on download and it downloaded right now. Go to Cyber City and boom, this is it. Look how cool this looks. Looks really nice. Almost as if it was taken out of the movie 2046. You can see a nice couch over there. See a really nice futuristic panel. And I can kind of hear some special sound effects in the background. Very, very slight. I can hear the city outside. And you can see the Oculus logo over there. Look, look at that. And some kind of floating ball over there. It's pretty cool. And some funky posters up there. The Danova. Would you guys want to live in such a place in real life in the future? Or would you rather just live in a nice cozy winter lodge instead? I know what I'd prefer. Although it's not bad, I mean, it's pretty nice. I like how the plantation over there is like that. It's pretty cool and you can see the fan rotating, really giving some life to, to the environment. It's not bad. It feels a tiny, slightly bit blurry in here, I have to admit. Uh, it doesn't feel like it's super, super sharp. I think Oculus could work a little bit on their resolution when it comes to creating environments, maybe, because it feels a bit like it's HD. It'd be nice if it was more 4K uh, and even push it maybe towards the 8K. I don't know whether it would be possible or not. But you can see all the animation outside. That's probably one of the reasons why, of course, uh, there is a bit more compression within within the world, but uh, not a bad job overall. Uh, a bit of advertising over there with Cola, maybe some signaling as to how brands could potentially advertise in the future, because of course you can customize your own home environment. I'll show you how to do that. If you want me to show you how to do that, please leave a comment below. I'll be very happy to provide you a tutorial as to how to do that. So there you go, that's how you change your environment. Pretty cool, huh? All right, take 400, I think. So if you're a subscriber or you've been to the channel before, hi to you, how's it going? And thanks again for continuously supporting the channel. I'm gonna separate, I think in my videos, a section specially dedicated to you, the one who comes back and subscribe to the channel or hasn't yet. By the way, if you are coming back but you haven't subscribed, just to let you know that, well, if you subscribe, you'll be entitled to keys to games, you'll be entitled to discounts on our merch and a whole bunch of other things. So, and of course, you'll be notified the moment that a new video is uploaded. So do consider subscribing and then click the bell notification as well. That will really support the channel. And for those who want to support even further, go to our new merch store where we have some really cool stuff. But more importantly, I just wanted to talk about the previous video very quickly. 
I'm so sorry if you felt in any shape or form like this other dude uh, who took his time to come to the channel and watch the video. Thank you to him. And he felt that, you know, I really let him down. He really felt like I was wasting his time. So if you felt this way, I'm so sorry, I really apologize. But for regular viewers and those who subscribe to the channel know my style of work. First of all, the previous video, which was all about whether you should sell your Oculus Quest now or wait, was not a sponsored video and all the imagery that I had put about the cyber shoes, accessories and all this kind of stuff is purely because I love to exercise my creative muscles. I'm holding a really heavy and long gimbal right now. This selfie cam is my really heavy cannon. <laughs> this is as much to the effort that I go to try and make the videos not just content interesting in terms of the information you'll get, but also how I go about <laughs> filming them. So uh, very sorry if you felt this way in any shape or form, but promise it won't happen again. And I'll try to be more mindful that more people who come to the channel are actually people who've never been to the channel before. And I should be mindful of those guys as well. Testing one, two, one, two, three, testing.